All right, guys, so trying to get this stream up and running, and it looks like I got it all set up, so you should have audio and video here. Um, let me just make sure that we are getting everything we're looking for. Um, yeah, okay, so all the information I really want to get across to you guys is on the screen today. I know a lot of people are curious about uh, mining cryptocurrencies at the moment, and one of the simplest ways of getting into that is through a program called NiceHash, uh, NiceHash.com. I have no affiliation with NiceHash whatsoever. They haven't uh, contacted me in any way whatsoever. I've just used this service for uh, quite some time off and on. And with the increase in the value of cryptocurrencies right now, it's... Uh, something a lot of people have a lot of interest in. So if you're considering mining using graphics cards, uh, but you want to get paid out in Bitcoin, you can do that through NiceHash, where your machine is hired by other people to mine other coins, and uh, they, those people pay NiceHash for the use of your machine. NiceHash pays you back for the hash rate of your machine. So. This video obviously is to compare the GTX 1080 and it happens to be the For the Win edition, um, I think edition 2. And we're going to compare that to the new RTX 3060 and these cards are obviously very very hard to get a hold of. They're marked up uh, about 70% right now if you can find one. So uh, just kind of wanted to give you an idea of the difference in output from these cards. So as you can see on your screen, um, right down there at the bottom left-hand corner uh, where it says rig name worker one. And then if you scroll down, it shows you the two cards running at the same time. Both are running at 75 degrees uh, Celsius. Um, both have 100% load with 90% RPMs, and they're both mining. So if we look at, back at the GTX 1080, uh, one of the most powerful cards a few years ago, we're getting 24.6 mega hash per second. Um, and that was a good rate. Now this is mining Dagger Hashimoto, which is a algorithm used to mine Ethereum. So at 24.591106 mega hash rate, uh, that was considered really quite good. Um, if we look right above that, we've got the RTX 3060 tie which even with the markup right now is about the same price as you can find the 1080s for um, and it's certainly right at the price that you paid for them new. Um, so 1080s are still for some reason uh, expensive cards. If you want to find one used you can usually find one around uh, 250 to $300 which isn't too bad but if you compare the hash rate to the RTX where we're getting 58.52 uh, or sorry 58.649188 mega hash seconds compared to that 24.6 um, you know you're really really close to a hundred and fifty percent increase over the output of the 1080 um, between these two cards through NiceHash right now, it's giving me an average uh, actual profit per day of $4.40. Um, if I change that to local, um, it's $4.45. Um, I don't have the cost of electricity properly entered in here, um, so that's a little low. Uh, as far as the difference in these um, when you consider that you have to pay for the electricity. But that being said, the 3060 tie is a much more efficient card, so I'm using less electricity for that card and getting more hash rate out of it. Uh, so overall that equates to more money in your pocket after you pay your bills. Um, this is just a 
one of those cards that is hard to find at the moment and I wanted to uh, I wanted to show you guys what it's capable of so that you can get uh, a feel for whether it's worth it to you or not paying out at four dollars and forty two cents per day minus your electricity if you could get this for retail it would take you about a hundred days of mining for the card to be paid off um, now how does that compare to actually just buying cryptocurrency uh, in my experience over the last three years it seems like buying and holding actually is more cost effective um, but you know that's kind of up to you you got to do your research and figure out is it going to be worth it to you of course the mining difficulty becomes harder over time as more of these cards make it into the market more people are using them your profitability will go down um, it's just the way that mining works so I hope to some some of you this is somehow or another uh, valuable information and worth the watch. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show you what's going on. So if you want to see my payouts from this, here's the history and stats. I've just been running this card for the last uh, couple of days. So today and yesterday. Um, and yesterday we got six payouts in the daytime period. And you can see I guess I've been running it for since the 31st at uh, this this payout right here, 84 cents. So I went from 42 cents using my uh, 1080 and my CPU, uh, both of those mining at the same time, was paying out around 42 to 56 cents, somewhere in that range. I added the... Uh, the 3060 tie and I took away the CPU so that's not running right now and uh, we're getting payouts in the 93 92 cent mark today uh, that's with the jump in the value of Bitcoin so uh, 83 last night 74 77 86 79 I think this is going to settle in somewhere around 90 cents per payout um, and getting six of those a day is going to be about five dollars and uh, 60 cents somewhere in that range uh, or five dollars and 40 cents um, so not bad at all between these two cards at some point or another I'll shut down the 1080 and I will simply run the uh, the 3060 to see what it does by itself. Um, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to grab another one of these maybe tomorrow uh, or a few more of these and uh, set up a rig and see how a rig does with at least three cards, uh, maybe as many as six. So. If you're interested in this stuff, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more of this in the future as this Bitcoin market is just uh, kind of getting out of hand. It's something to keep an eye on. Um, has a lot to do with everything going on in the world and just how crazy things are. Hey, if it's all going to be crazy, why not make Bitcoin crazy too? So looks like where we're at. Hope you all are having a great day. And thank you very much for checking out the channel. Um, I will be back with more information later. Have a good night, guys.